Welcome back to another Market Movers tutorial video. My name is Tyler Nethercott, better known as Teapot. And in this week's short video, I'll be talking about the best way to stick to your plan when it comes to buying and selling sports cards. Let's talk about price alerts. So when it comes to buying and selling sports cards, you have to have a plan. Anybody who's successful in any investment always has a game plan and they know how to stick to it and they know when to deviate from it. This tiny little powerful feature in Market Movers, price alerts, is the perfect remedy if you're somebody like me who occasionally gets a little bit of squirrel brain. You know what I'm talking about. I get distracted, there's a lot of things happening every day. I'm busy working on Market Movers and taking care of my family and it's easy to miss a beat. The market is reactive. When you buy a card, you want to know exactly what target price you're aiming for before you're ready to sell that card. Similarly, if there are cards that you're targeting that you wanna stay on top of over time that are too high of a price point right now but you think are gonna dip down later and you know exactly what price you'd like to get in at, use our price alerts feature, which is part of our pro membership plan, to set reminders so that you can stay on top of when those cards are hitting the price point high or low that you're ready to move on. So let's go over and take a look at these price alerts. So I'm on our dashboard and to get to price alerts, you just simply click on the price alerts icon here. And this is gonna take you to the price alerts dashboard. Now what you'll see is very similar to our price movements page, which we've already covered. The last seven, last 14, last 30 and last 90 day price. And then everything else that you're seeing here is you know, basically the information surrounding the specific cards price alerts. So in this case, I've set up a price alert for DeAndre Ayton's 2018 Prism Silver PSA 9. And I've put a little note on this alert myself that says buy. You come over here and you can see that the threshold is set always either below or above. And in this case, it's below $82 and it's showing that the status of this alert is active. Now, if you look at this price point of 81.58, that's below this $82. And the way that the price alerts work is that every day at noon Eastern time, all of our price alerts get run through our, our system to check for whether or not the recent ending average price of a particular card has crossed the threshold above or below whatever price point that you've set. So in this case, tomorrow at noon Eastern time, this card should send a price alert to my email address, letting me know that it's time to buy DeAndre Ayton's 2018 Prism Silver based on an alert that I set a while back. If I wanna make any modifications to this alert, I can come over here and I can click on this button, I can update it, and I could say, you know what, I only wanna buy Ayton if he drops below, let's say $60. And now my price alert is updated, that simple. If you keep scrolling down, you can see there's different ways. By default, when you add a price a price alert, uh, it's gonna just put the card's description in here. So Fernando Tatis Jr. 2019, top space PSA 10. That would be the default description, but you have the liberty to change the description to whatever you want it to be. So in this case, I can say sell paid $65 if this card goes above $350. And this little check mark is an indication that I have this card in my collection. So I've registered this card in my collection. I've also added it to my favorite cards and I've got a price alert set for it. So if this card goes above $350, then that's gonna be my cue to come in, check over my collection, pull that card out of my filing system and get it up on eBay and you know try to make a sale for the profit that I was targeting. Now, if I keep scrolling down, you can see I've got another buy target here for a Tatis Jr. card. I'm kind of looking at it on both ends. If he goes too high, I'll sell the PSA 10. If the nines dip below $75, then I'm willing to buy. Keep scrolling down. I've got a, another one listed here that says sell, paid $35 for this Bam out of bio, red, white, and blue. If this card goes above $100, that's my sell point. And then all the way at the bottom here, you can see the LeBron James 2003 Bazooka Basketball Base PSA 10. So I had a price alert set for this that said if this card goes above $700, I want to be notified. And you can see over here that it's expired. So it hit $1,158 back in September. 
So I left this alert in here. You have two choices when it comes to dealing with expired alerts. You can either delete them and just clear them out of your list to keep it tidy, or you can hit renew and you can change the alert to whatever you want it to be, just like setting a new alert. So you can basically reset it. So in the case of, for example, these Tatis cards, let's say that the, my initial alert was set for $250 and then it crossed it and I thought, you know what? He's still got a lot of room to go up. I think this season he's gonna be a beast. He's one of the NL MVP favorites. The Padres are stacked and are gonna be competing with the Dodgers. I'm gonna go even, I'm gonna get a little greedy and I'm gonna go up to $350 and I wanna be uh, notified when I hit that price point. So that's it, that's in a nutshell, that's the, the price alerts dashboard. Now how do I set a price alert outside of the dashboard? Let's go to my homepage here and I will just navigate to this uh, Prism 2018 base Luka Doncic card. And look at this, you've got Luka's card coming on this downward trajectory. I mean, he's been having another phenomenal season and his cards are just tumbling, 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 tumbling down. So I'm actually gonna click out and say, well, let's see what's happened in the last 180 days with this card. And you can see that the high point on this card, back in December when the season was tipping off, $2,000. And now this card is down to almost 1000 so even just looking at this chart, I'm thinking this is a really good time to buy. But let's say that I wanna set a price alert. And I say, if this card goes below $1,000, then I definitely want to buy this card, definitely. I don't see it, you know, that would be a, a low for the last half of a year. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And you'll notice right away, the icon went from, you know, unfilled to filled in dark blue and it says I've got a price alert. I can add another one too. Let's say I wanna know, you know when this card hits a, hits a high point. Let's see if it ever goes back above 1700. I could say sell. So now if I go back to my manage alert screen, you can see both of these two alerts added in, my buy and my sell points. That's it, it's that simple, price alerts. They'll send you an email notification every day you can stay on top of it. I use this feature every time that I buy a card. Every time I buy a card, I come in here, I add it to my collection, and then I set a price alert so that I never miss a beat. I have an idea in my head of when I wanna sell. Doesn't mean I always act on that. I might renew it and change my, my terms, my, my terms with myself about when I wanna sell that card. But it's very simple, very powerful, one of my favorite features, and it definitely helps me with Squirrel Brain. If you like this video, please subscribe. Please comment below if you have any questions or other ideas for price alerts. And otherwise, we'll see you next time.